Hello ladies, are you ready for another get ready with me? I um, was going to do a video today and I thought, well, while I'm getting ready, I might as well film it. So I've already put on my primer, which is my Laura Geller Spackle. And I'm going to go ahead and color correct and put my concealer on. Just patting that into my skin. Trying to get rid of those bruised looks under my eyes. I don't know, the last few weeks I have really noticed that my eye, under eyes are looking bruised, not just creased and this trench or whatever you want to call it, but actually looking like I have bruises under my eyes. And I have never, I don't remember ever really having anything like that before. Okay, now for concealer, my damp beauty blender, it's not a beauty blender, it's a just a beauty sponge, it's like a no name beauty sponge, and I'm going to use the uh, Rimmel Match Perfection in Fair. I don't think any of this makes much of a difference except for maybe getting rid of the purple around my eyes, but um, lessening those deep circles, I don't think a thing helps. Excuse me, a little bit of stuff in my eye. I never got out this morning. And uh, I'm still cleaning mask out of my hair this morning. Ugh. Combing my hair, that was a joy. Well, pulled out half my hair, I think. Okay, for foundation today, I am going to use my Ulta Demi Matte Foundation in... Classic Ivory. <coughs> okay, and that is in... I really like this stuff, actually. Watch me eat my words today, but... Everything seems streaky lately. Maybe it's this brush. Maybe um, after you use them for a while.
I think the girls and I were talking this morning about uh, shaving your face. And I'm thinking that it's time for me to do that. Because I have so much peach fuzz. Yeah, everything is looking really cakey, and I'm wondering if, I'm actually wondering if it is this brush. Because I've used it so much. Anybody else having that problem that's been using these? Does their makeup start looking cakey after a while? Maybe I should, the next couple of times I put foundation on, try a different brush. Try a buffing brush, actually. Because it looks fine, but I have so much peach fuzz that I think that this would go on a lot easier if I didn't have um, that on my face. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to use my Ulta Brow Tint and Light. stuff. You know, Ulta has some things that I'm not crazy about, but I absolutely love some of their stuff. I am not a huge, huge fan of their lipsticks. I have lipsticks from them because I've gotten, you know, like free buy this and get this free stuff, you know, and like the uh, beauty bags and stuff that have had their lipsticks in it. So I've got lipsticks from them, but I I can't say that I'm crazy about them. I don't rarely ever use them. I should either pass them along or throw them away. I don't know why I hang on to some of this stuff thinking that maybe someday I'll use it. I like that. Really like that. <coughs> um, eyeshadow. That brow stuff. And I'm using my Ulta Eye Primer. I absolutely love this too. This is all leading into another video today that I'm doing. That's why I'm using a lot of this stuff. Stay tuned. We'll be up Monday. All right. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to wear something that I have not even worn yet because I've been afraid to because it is so beautiful that I have not wanted to touch it. I got it on sale a while back and I got it for really cheap. Um, it is called Ready to Wear. And I don't know, it's Ready to Wear New York. And look at this. I have been so afraid to use that because it is absolutely, absolutely, absolutely the most beautiful eye palette I own. Looks like cable and stuff, like I knitted those things. Okay, so anyway, let's see. What am I going to wear today? <coughs> it's got kind of purplishes in here. Let's see. I think I'm going to go with this in my crease. Not going anywhere today, so might as well. Oh, that's a pretty color. Wow. I have so much harder time doing my left eye than I do my right, and it's because I'm right-handed. I need to learn how to hold the brush. So many people do it like this. Maybe that'll work better for me.
pinks them out. I'm going to attempt to blend. You can tell when you attempt to blend, it looks so much better. Except for I got it way out towards the side. I'm going to have to clean that up. But And as beautiful as it is, it uh, sweeps out. I've got powder on my cheeks. I'm using a um, blending brush by e.l.f. And I gotta tell you, it's a good blending brush. I don't mind it, but it it's got really stiff bristles where they kind of poke you. I don't like that. Okay, where's the other brush? So guys, how'd I do in the blending? You tell me. I'm trying to take your advice and blend, blend, blend. And I think it looks a lot better. So what I used was this on the eyelid. I used this one here in the crease. And I used this one here to blend a little bit in the outer V. Okay. Um, I'm going to go in and do a little bit of a little bit of this black. All right, so, and then I'm going to use my stash, stash, Smashbox X-Rated. I found this under my bed. It is brand new, never even been used. I don't remember where I got it. I must have got it in a subscription box or somebody, I don't know. It's just a little, a little sample size.
pretty wet. But a lot of mascaras are the first couple of times you use them, so I, I can't base, you know, my thoughts on that. Ouch! Look what I did. Ow, ow, ow. Right in the eyeball. Okay, so blush. And I'm going to use this blush. Never noticed this. It's got almost a flowery smell. It's not unpleasant whatsoever. Oh, it smells really good, actually. All right. You need a light hand. <laughs> I'm finding that out. Okay, so I am going to use my, for my highlighter, I am going to use my Morphe M438, I believe, that I won from Terry Lee. I won a bonus prize. from her. Um, the other prizes were um, I mean she had a big giveaway but this was a bonus prize for her subscribers that have been with her for a while and I won that. So this is a M38 and this is 437. 437 and 438 look like this. And I'm going to use this for my highlighter. And then I won one other one, which is a M527. And that one looks like this. I keep tape pulling these down, and I shouldn't because I'm... That's a nice brush. Just keeping those on there to keep them safe. All right, so I'm going to use my Wet n' Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette today. And I'm just going to go in... I'm not going to go swish my brush around, except for in a couple of colors, if I can get it open. I'm just going to use these two end ones. Look at the glitter. I want to look like I'm from outer space today. That was a little bit of a, I tell you what, them peel off masks, it's hard to get rid of stuff. Okay, that works good. I like that brush for highlighter. Today I'm going to wear my, for a lipstick, I, it's a very um, little known brand as far as, I never hear anybody talk about it, but it's Mirabella. And it is in the color... Fever. And it's a pretty red. You know me and my reds. And this is like a true red. And there you go. Guys, that is my get ready with me. I will be back in a few minutes with another video. And I will talk to you very soon. One last thing. I'm going to use my infallible. Ooh. That's 
good stuff, but. All right. Talk to you in a few. Bye.